sub three minutes. Here we are with Kenny Leverage, the winner of the SoCal region. Congratulations. Thanks, Dave. Are you excited to go back to the games for the third year in a row? I'm extremely excited. This is my sport. This is what I love to do. I mean, it's every competitor's dream to get to that point. And uh, it's a long road leading up to this. And uh, I'm just really happy that all my you know training and hard work has paid off. And now I get to finally take that next step three years in a row across the games. Do you think you'll get more of the respect you deserve as a top tier athlete now that you beat Josh and Dan at this region? No, not at all, not at all. Uh, Dan and Dave have always been role models of mine, people I've looked up to. I think even though I'd have to win the CrossFit Games and beat Rich to get that respect or something, but uh, no. Oh, so you don't, you don't look at yourself now as a, one of the top tier CrossFit athletes? Oh, I think, I think uh, I've definitely earned you know, to be up there. Um, but I see all of them as equals for sure. Who do you look up to the most? God. <laughs> um, you know, it, there's, so, it, there's CrossFit's one of those things where it's like, you know, it could be anyone. They're, everyone's got their specialties and their characteristics that like make them stand out. So it's not just one specific person. But don't you think that the programming nowadays, um, you have to be able to do well at everything? And I think you said that it, it depends. Uh, CrossFit has specialists and it depends on what the workouts are, but people like you, people like Josh, people like Dan, people yeah. like Rich have proven that not to be the case. And what I mean by that is, here we are three years of regionals worth of workouts, and every year, no matter what comes out, you're performing at the top. Yeah, I think uh, it's you know one of those things where it's not necessarily being the specialist, but you gotta be good at everything. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, that's what I've been training, and I, I kind of saw that in this competition this weekend, and it wasn't going out and trying to win all the events, but mainly staying consistent, and that was what I was shooting for the whole weekend. I think it was really cool that you started the weekend off day one in the later heats. Yeah. And you got you got to uh, perform really well there, and then on day two and three, vault to first place and uh, hold that for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, I think that's where all the training came into play. Uh, just really focused on myself this weekend, and uh, just, you know, with Dusty, my coach, uh, what we've been working on the past year and uh, it just it played off it worked out well here's a question on every girl's mind and some guys are you single no i actually have a girlfriend okay and you have a new uh you have a new you've take, taken over uh, a new gym right yeah orange coast crossfit if anyone's ever in costa mesa come check it out this is one special guy he's very uh, he means that when he says come check it out he'll host you like he's like you're his brother Thanks, congratulations Thank you. proud of you